Hello, this is chapter 13, Modulation and Transmitters. There are 56 questions in this chapter. Number one, in a CW transmitter, the blank is between the master oscillator and the power amplifier, the driver buffer. Number two, in a frequency modulation transmitter, the power amplifier output is connected to the antenna. Number three, in a single sideband transmitter, the output of the linear amplifier is connected to the antenna. Number four, in a frequency modulation transmitter, the microphone is connected to the speech amplifier. Number five, in a single sideband transmitter, the output of the blank is connected to the balanced modulator, speech amplifier. Number six, in a single sideband transmitter, the output of the variable frequency oscillator is connected to the mixer. Number seven, in a CW transmitter, the blank controls when the RF energy is applied to the antenna. Telegraph key. Number eight. In a single sideband transmitter, the output of the blank is connected to the filter. Balanced modulator. Number nine. In a CW transmitter, the blank is in between the driver, buffer stage, and the antenna. Power amplifier. Number 10. In a single sideband transmitter, the output of the blank is connected to the mixer. Variable frequency oscillator. Number 11. In a single sideband transmitter, the blank is connected to the speech amplifier. Microphone. In a frequent number 12. In a frequency modulation transmitter, the blank is located between the modulator and the frequency mu multiplier. Oscillator. Number 13. In a CW transmitter, the output of the blank is connected to the driver buffer. Master oscillator. Number 14. In a typical CW transmitter, the blank is the primary source of the direct current. Power supply. Number 15. In a frequency modulation transmitter, the blank is located between the oscillator and the power amplifier. Frequency multiplier. Number 16. In a frequency modulation transmitter, the blank is located between the frequency multiplier and the antenna. Power amplifier. Number 17. In a frequency modulation transmitter, the input of the speech amplifier is connected to the microphone. Number 18. In a single sideband transmitter, the blank is in between the balanced modulator and the mixer. Filter. Number 19. In a frequency modulation transmitter, the blank is in between the speech amplifier and the oscillator. Modulator. Number 20. In a single sideband transmitter, the output of the blank is connected to the balanced modulator. Radio frequency oscillator. Number 21. In a single sideband transmitter, the blank is in between the mixer and the antenna. Linear amplifier. Number 22. In a CW transmitter, the output of the blank is transferred to the antenna. Power amplifier. Number 23. Number 23. If you contact another station and your signal is extremely strong and perfectly readable, what adjustment might you make to your transmitter? Turn down your power output to the minimum necessary. Number 24. What type of modulation system changes the amplitude of an RF wave for the purpose of conveying information? Amplitude modulation. Number 25. Which list of emission types is in order from the narrowest bandwidth to the widest bandwidth. CW, RTTY, SSB voice, and FM voice. Number 26. What circuit has variable frequency oscillator and a driver and a power amplifier? A VFO controlled transmitter. Number 27. What happens to the signal of an overmodulated single sideband or double sideband phone transmitter? It becomes distorted and occupies more bandwidth. Number 28. 
in a typical single sideband phone transmitter, wet circuit processes signals from the balance modulator and sends them to the mixer. Filter. Number 29. The purpose of a balanced modulator in an SSB transmitter is to suppress the carrier and pass on the two sidebands. Number 30. In what emission type does the instantaneous amplitude or envelope of the RF signal vary in accordance with the modulating audio? Amplitude modulation. Number 31. What is one advantage of carrier suppression in a double sideband phone transmission? More power can be put into the sidebands for a given power amplifier capacity. Number 32. An RF oscillator should be electrically and mechanically stable. This is to ensure that the oscillator does not drift in frequency. Number 33. What is the term for the average power supplied to an antenna transmission line during one RF cycle at the crest of the modulation envelope? Peak envelope power. Number 34. What is the usual bandwidth of a single sideband amateur signal? Between 2 and 3 kilohertz. Number 35. Morse code is usually transmitted by radio as... An interrupted carrier. Number 36. Why isn't frequency modulated or FM phone used below 28.0 megahertz? The bandwidth would exceed limits on the regulations. Number 37. What is the usual bandwidth of a frequency modulated amateur station? Between 10 and 20 kilohertz. Number 38. What may happen if an FM transmitter is operated with the microphone gain or deviation control set too high? It may cause interference to other stations operating near its frequency. Number 39. Why is FM voice best for local VHF or UHF radio communications? It has high fidelity audio which can be understood even when the signal is somewhat weak. Number 40. What emission is produced by a reactance modulator connected to an RF power amplifier? Phase modulation. Number 41. What kind of emission would your FM transmitter produce if its microphone failed to work? An unmodulated carrier. Number 42. A switching system to enable the use of one antenna for a transmitter and receiver should also disable the unit not being used. Number 43. When switching from receive to transmit, the receiver should be muted. Number 44. An antenna changeover switch in a transmitter-receiver combination is necessary so that one antenna can be used for transmitter and receiver. Number 45. A circuit designed to increase the level of its input signal is called an amplifier. Number 46. If an amplifier becomes nonlinear, the output signal would become distorted. Number 47. The range of frequencies to be amplified by speech amplifier is typically 300 to 3400 hertz. Number 48. To increase the level of very weak signals from a microphone, you would use an audio amplifier. Number 49. What causes splatter interference? Overmodulation of a transmitter. Number 50. The power of a transmitter is increased from 5 watts to 50 watts by a linear amplifier. The power gain expressed in dB is... 10 dB. Number 51. The power of a transmitter is increased from 2 watts to 8 watts. This is a power gain of blank dB. 6 dB. Number 52. You add 9 dB gain amplifier to your 2 watt handheld. What is the power output of the combination? 16 watts. 
Number 53. The power output from a transmitter increases from 1 watt to 2 watts. This is a dB increase of 3. Number 54. Where in your station can you verify that legal power limits are respected? At the antenna terminals of the transmitter or amplifier. Number 55. With a digital communication mode based on a sound card, what is the result of feeding too much audio into the transceiver? Splatter or out-of-channel emissions. Number 56. Which of the following answers is not correct? Based on the bandwidth required, the following modes may be transmitted on these frequencies. Single sideband or SSB on 10.12 MHz.